Previously on the Player One Painter. done for now. See you tomorrow. All right, day two, another chance to make it in the painting world. I'm really just going to take this time to fill in all the empty spaces here. Uh, you know, we did a little sketch of uh, Riverwood, so just grab your uh, one-inch brush, and it's all, we're going to mix a uh, kind of like a grayish brown light color for like the road. And uh, it's okay if you paint over top of uh, some of your structures. It's just you really want to fill in all the white spaces here. So pop it down. All right, now with the same mixture on your brush, go into your cadmium yellow and your white. All right, and we'll put some uh, rooftops on these houses here. There you go. And again, this is just the base layer, just to fill it all in. Some big hay roofs. Roofs. Roofs? 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 <laughs> Sounds like a dog. Roofs. Just block it on in there. It's probably gonna mix with uh, some of the other colors, but that's alright. That's what these tests are for. Oh, my arm hurts. Shoveling all that still, man, sometimes it hurts your arm. <laughs> it's like an old man. Old man painting. Here, fill in these roofs. Man, shoveling messes up your painting arms. <laughs> My arm hurts. Alright, now over here it's gonna be like a shingled roof, but we'll still just fill it in with the same color. We'll come back here. Alright, for the structures, uh, I want it to be like a darker um, wooden brown. So just go into your burnt umber, fill it up there, and again, just a basic quash of burnt umber and a little bit of blue. And just fill it in. So yeah, really, again, what we're doing here is just blocking in all the uh, shapes, and we'll eventually go over top of them with some detail. Use a quarter inch brush to fill in the small detail back here. Again, we're just blocking in colors. Same color, I'm actually gonna go more to the gray side. Alright, <clears throat> let's go back here. Go over here. Pick a little gray color, go into your uh, black and your white. Pop a little gray stone down here. Some gray right here for that little uh, smithing place. Alright, we'll put some more gray stone over here in the logging mill. Just go into that uh, black and white again. And gray stone. Alright, let's so get some uh, brown, more brown on this brush and just kind of fill in this gap here. There's uh, some logs across there. Fill it in here for now. Go back over top of this.
Now let's focus on this uh, cobblestone road in uh, Riverwood. Get a quarter inch brush, go into your white, a little bit of the brown, or an umber brown. And since we already have a layer down here, we're just going to try and touch and focus on each individual cobblestone. Now the further ones are just going to be little dots, so just kind of tap the canvas here and there. Not much detail, but as it gets closer, then it'll be bigger and full detail. This continues on to uh, that stone bridge that goes over top of the river. We'll deal with this later. Yeah, just kind of dab it on here. More color. And make sure to vary the sizes too, because you don't want it to all be the same. As human beings, we're prone to symmetry and things in order, but it's always fun whenever you can make things out of order and asymmetrical. But yeah, just pop it here and there, and again, as they get closer to us, they're going to get larger and larger. It does look pretty neat there, doesn't it? Sunshine, sunshine. Sun's shining in the Skyrim land. Watch out for the dragon. But oh no, I dropped the brush. Back. All right, something like that, just to kind of have some cobblestone action. Yeah, kind of brights up the town. And now we're going to focus on all of the buildings. Um, so we're going to put a base layer down. All these houses back here, I want them to kind of have like a bluish faded wood color. So go into your brown. You're gonna touch some of the blue, wash my blue with it. A lot of the white. All right, something like this color. You can see that. But come over here. The reason why we do this: these houses are actually in the shadow right now because the sunlight's coming this way. So this house is gonna get all the sunlight. These right now are currently in the shadow. So we'll uh, portray them as such. Blue is a good way to indicate shadow, especially on a very sunny days. Sun beats down, you might see some blue in the shadow. Over here as well. There we go. Very blue. I wish I had some shadow uh, to build in here and there. I'm gonna go into some other places, just fill in some more colors, like this uh, wood mill over here. Just take a dark color, we did a uh, burnt sienna and a little bit of uh, burnt umber. And we're just gonna paint on top of this. Alright, now for the. For the... <laughs> Alright, well this will be the third and final day of painting. Just about done. I know we just did a lot of blocking in, kind of finding the uh, angles and directions of the buildings and all the fun composition of the painting. Um, so this one I'm gonna like kind of fast forward, just touch up here and there, I'll voice over it. Um, but before I do that, let me just show you how to go about the uh, heading on top of these rooftops real quick. I would actually go back to the small fan brush so we kind of get that little hay-like aspect of the uh, bristles. Uh, go into your cab yellow. A little bit of that burnt umber brown. You know what I'm talking about. This would be like the base hay shadow color. So we'll go over top of here and really just think of the direction of how it would flow. Go over top. Again, this is the shadow, so you can't see too much yet. And remember, the sun's coming this direction, so all of this is going to be the brightest, and these ones will be in the shadow. Something like that. Make sure you leave a space in between each little hay bale. Alright, now once you put the shadow uh, hay color on all the buildings, go with that same fan brush. We're gonna make a highlight now, so into the cad uh, yellow again. A little bit of the brown, burnt umber. You can touch it a little bit with the uh, burnt sienna as well. Go into the white. I'm gonna leave this on here a lot, so something like this color. And just take it and think how the hay will just come down, whoosh, brush across from the shadow color. So it's all about the angles of how you brush it on there. Hey, looks really nice. 
Pop it on there. Very nice. It's okay if it's not all the same color. It's actually kind of nice to see some different uh, variations of the hay. So don't be afraid of this. You got it. Believe in yourself. Ah. Let me go focus over here on this one. Uh, now this one's going to have a... Um, what's it called? It's not tile roof. Um, oh, shoot. Oh, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> It's not a tile roof, is it? No, it's not a tile roof. What roof is that? That's uh... a... <laughs> What's that called? Um... I look like an idiot right now. What is that roof called? Tile roof? No? <laughs> Hold on, let me look up on Google real quick. Well, Google told me it's a shingled roof. I'm an idiot, so sorry about that. Uh, yeah, we'll put shingles in this roof, so we won't use a fan brush. We'll just use our uh, quarter-inch brush here. Right, y'all. In that cadmium pale hue. Boom. Some black, a little bit of black. Just a nib. And some white. You can uh, RP and imagine a bit. Uh, think about, you know, it's in the woodlands. Uh, maybe some kind of moss is growing on top of it. Maybe don't keep it as well. It's, you know, you got dragons to worry about. You can't worry about your roofs in Skyrim. So, uh, put it on the greener side here. Go up here and just individually just think about how the, uh, shingles will happen here. And I might actually go back in here and, uh, make a few of the shingles a different color. This is going to be the first layering effect of the shingles. And once you come down to the edge here, you can kind of uh, vary the um, shingles as they butt off of the roof. So don't make it like a straight line. You, know? you can definitely have some fun with this. Make it ramshackle. Word of the day. I guess while we're at we can actually highlight some of the other uh, wood beams around here. So this would get a highlight out here. Down around here. Each one of these wood beams should get a highlight from the sun. There you go. Down the hatch here. And some of these logs get a highlight. You can get a highlight. Ooh. Yeah, we're basically just going everywhere with this then. Make sure you uh, follow the rules of nature. Alright, there's just one more thing I want to show you guys before we call this one done. Um, the little uh, water wheel that comes uh, past the mill here. So take your brush and go into some of your brown, your black, and your blue. Small brush like this. We'll start just by taking here and make sure you find the center of the wheel. Now I already made some uh, ripples of the water to indicate that's where I want the wheel to be. So we'll do this as such. Boom. There it is. Now you have to make sure you use this as a uh, idea of where your wheels are going to be. Now this is your bravery test. You can do it. You have to go around the outside. Boom. Alright. Load the brush up with more. Take it. Around the outside. Boom. Now you have to repeat that same wheel, but just go over a little bit more. So kind of give it a little indication of uh, one of the little wheel things. Round and round we go. Into the water. Uh, just take your brush and make some little prongs here. Right across. Now we have to kind of complete with the um, connectors here, so just do an X thing, down like that. Always make sure to go back to the more color because you're going to run out of it on your brush. Do another X like this, boom, like that. But then continue the X on the other side, this side. Like that. Add a few highlights and shadows and I think we can call this one done. 
I know this was a more detailed one, but hey, you beat level 14? Well, thanks again for joining me here. I know this was a different kind of video. It's like a semi-speed painting, semi-tutorial, but uh, hey, all good fun, right? And hey, psh, Riverwood Man? Awesome town in Skyrim. So thanks for watching. Make sure to check out all our other social medias down there. We have a website, Facebook, Instagram, and make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I'll see you next time. Cheers!